chronic kidney disease or CKD is a silent killer. Silent because there are no symptoms till the most advanced stages of the disease and killer because it is responsible for a significant number of deaths across the world. I am Dr. Alka Basin, Senior Director in Nephrology and Renal Transplant Medicine at Max Smart Super Speciality Hospital, New Delhi. Approximately one in seven adults are affected with kidney disease in urban areas. And just to give you some perspective, approximately 10 to 20% is the annual growth rate of the dialysis population in our country. With an increasing burden of the disease, expensive treatments that lie ahead, and an increasingly younger population at risk, chronic kidney disease is indeed a significant health problem. Each kidney has approximately 1 million delicate filters that work like a sieve and filter the waste products 24 by 7 to ensure that there is no accumulation in the bloodstream. The commonest waste product that we measure in the blood is the creatinine, which should have a value of 1.0 milligram per deciliter or less in the bloodstream. The kidney has a wide variety of other functions other than just removal of waste products. It is responsible for keeping our bones healthy because it activates vitamin D. It is also responsible for maintaining good levels of hemoglobin through the production of a chemical called erythropoietin, which stimulates the bone marrow to produce hemoglobin. Healthy kidneys maintain the salt and the water balance in our bloodstream, and in that sense, they control the blood pressure of our body. They are also responsible for adequate control of the potassium and the uric acid levels within the blood. So if you have weakness of kidney function, it is but natural that you would experience fatigue because of the decline in hemoglobin values. There would be bone pain because of low levels of vitamin D. The cardiac rhythm may be at threat because of accumulation of potassium and various acids within the bloodstream and blood pressure would surely be going up. It is therefore a mandate for all of us to prevent the onset of kidney disease in the first place. For that reason, there are three important steps that need to be taken. The first is a measurement of the blood creatinine value. With that measurement, your nephrologist can help you with identifying the stage of kidney disease that you are in or not. The GFR or glomerular filtration rate is a calculation made using your age, body weight, blood creatinine value and gender based upon which stage zero or stage five disease can be identified. The second investigation of choice is a simple urine analysis to ensure if there is any inadvertent leakage of blood or protein via the urine. And thirdly, an ultrasound of the kidneys to see if there's any structural damage. The treatment of CKD involves seeking the help of a nephrologist or kidney specialist to first understand the stage of the disease itself and to identify if there are any reversible factors. The first point of treatment would be to try and control the underlying disease that is responsible for the development of the kidney damage in the first place and to understand the do's and don'ts to be implemented to slow down disease progression. Alterations in lifestyle, alterations in dietary habits to help control the disease as well as to see if you are suited to taking medications such as ACE inhibitors or SGLT2 inhibitors that have a role to play in controlling the disease progression. Those who have advanced kidney disease or stage five, which is irreversible and now requires renal replacement therapy, the treatment options include dialysis or kidney transplantation in addition to medications and lifestyle adjustment. Hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis are two types of the dialysis treatment arm. In hemodialysis, the blood is purified through an artificial kidney or dialyzer. The blood exits the arm of the patient through an axis called the AV fistula. 
it reaches the dialyzer where it is purified and the important segments of the blood are returned back to the patient. It is a four hour treatment performed three times a week, which provides approximately 45% of waste removal through the week. Hemodialysis is generally very well tolerated and restores normalcy to the life of individuals suffering with stage five kidney disease. Peritoneal dialysis involves the filtering of waste products through a God-given membrane called the peritoneal membrane located in the abdomen. This membrane was never designed for the purpose of dialysis, but over the years, scientists discovered that it has very minute pores through which waste products can be extracted by a chemical gradient. It involves the administration of special dialysis fluid across that membrane through a catheter implanted in the abdomen. After about six hours, the fluid is extracted back out into a waste bag and then the same procedure gets repeated every six hourly. The training for peritoneal dialysis is a three-day procedure which is done with elaborate detail. Automated peritoneal dialysis is also available in order to simplify the entire process allowing the individual to sleep comfortably throughout the night while dialysis is in progress. Renal transplantation then is a superior treatment option for those patients with advanced kidney disease where the donor is readily available. So if you have chronic kidney disease, regardless of the stage, please feel free to connect with your nephrologist for appropriate treatment guidance because help is just a phone call away.